let's welcome Vincent Birch. Okay. Thank you, Chris. All right. Okay, so I'm Vincent Birch. I'm here today to talk about uh, mortgages um, and what the interest rates, valuations are, etc., for the last month. Okay, so talk about mo property market and valuations, and going to talk about the uh, lenders and the lenders' interest rates at the moment. So we'll we come to that one in a minute. So valuations. Um, right move house price index for May, not March, um, so I don't know this morning, showed that nationally um, house prices were up by 1.1% last month. And nationally, or annually, sorry, that's now 1.7. Now, east of England, last month it was up 1.1 increase, and that's still below um, where it was this time last year, but it's going in the right direction. And interestingly, this is the only region out of the whole of the UK that had a negative figure when I looked at it this morning. So right move at the beginning of 2023 predicted a drop of 2%. It ended at 1% below. And this year, they expected a drop of 1%. We'll see what happens at the end of the year. So there's not a turmoil in the marketplace as the press might have you um, believe in. So opportunities in the market you've got now, and my, most of my clients are experienced landlords, and it's a perfect market for them. Because if property's not selling, then people take lower offers. And if you get down valuations or you can um, get motivated buyers, see it's been on the market for three, six, nine months, um, and people need to sell, sell those properties so you can get a bargain. Other opportunities, anyone wants to do, do up a property and resell it or to refinance it, we get 85% bridging finance, 1.99 a month at the moment. Um, you could buy a property, split the title, whether it's split into two flats or split some land. And you've got the lease, for, um, lease hold reform act coming in place in a couple of years. So you could buy a property with 35 years remaining on the lease right now, and uh, Santander will finance that on a normal, um, normal interest rate. So with 35 years left on the, um, the lease. So swap rates. Swap rates are how the lenders price two year money, or two year money in this instance. And we can see three, three months ago, it went down. Um, to 4.4, and last few months it hasn't really happened, nothing's changed. Five year money did go down, then stayed the same, and it went up uh, when I looked here this morning. So there's not much going on, but it's not going down like everyone thought it would. Everyone's hoping inflation would go down, and uh, the Bank of England would drop rates probably by the summer. This is telling you that's not going to happen. It might not happen in the end this year. Obviously, we don't really know, we just see what inflation does. It's because I know you can look at a remortgage within six months before its end date, so you can look now in case rates go up, but again, if rates go down, you can then um, get the new mortgage at a cheaper rate in three, four months' time, if, if you want to do that. And EPC ratings for buy slip property, currently is a minimum of an E, unless it's exempt. The aim was for all buy slip properties to be A or C, and that's the plan going forward for the government, and we see what the Labour Party does. So potentially that's another opportunity. If a property doesn't have a, an A or A to C rating, then you could get a bargain on that property because what landlord really wants that in their, in their property portfolio in 10 years' time? Mortgage lenders are offering green rates, so discounted rates on mortgages if you've got an A to C. So there are some financial benefits um, to getting an A to C rating. Okay, so buy to let rates. Now I always do them at 75% loan to value because that's the majority of how my, my clients take advice. To be fair, recently they're taking two year fixed rates rather than five, but I'll stick at five because I've done five for the last many years. So the best deal this morning for a single let, um, property in your own name is 4.54, and that had a flat 2,000 pounds arrangement fee. Limited company is 5.44, again with a um, 2,000 pound arrangement fee. Now, interest rates have gone up in a, in a, in, since I've done this last time. To be fair, swap rates have gone down in the last week. So I expect the rates to go down again, but the lenders haven't caught up to the, the pricing yet. So HMOs, small HMO, if there's five people and one tenancy, 4.74 uh, with a 3% fee, or a larger HMO, that one goes up to seven, 5.54, again with a 3% fee. It's, um, most of the bridging finance is done at 75% loan to value, and interest rates start from 0.79 for a non-regulated bridge where you don't live in a property or you're gonna sell it or regulated bridge starts from 0.84 with a 2% fee. 
if you're going to do lots of works to a property, um, change the, um, the layout or um, the um, footprint structure. That's what I'm looking for, the structure. Basically, the more works you do, you're going to pay more expensive interest rates. So the rates start from that. If you're going to rip out kitchen bathroom, you'll pay that rate. If you're going to start changing lots more stuff structurally, you'll pay a little bit more on the interest rates. Okay, so um, why go to a broker than go direct? We have more products available. We have experience and relationships with the lenders. I've been doing this 25 years nearly. Um, we give you advice and we work for you. We don't work for the lender. And at Vincent Birch, we typically don't charge a broker fee. Now, last month, we launched a, a bridging and development calculator on our website. So if you do want to run some figures, you can go into our specialist section on our website. And you can go to the bridging and search bridging, or development and search development. And we have over 100 lenders on there that you can have a look and do your own, um, just plan around with the figures, see what projects work, and see how it's going to cost. Now, obviously, you've got crowd property who, who support PIN. They're also on there, so you can include them on that search. Now, on there, there's rates from 0.55. That's a lower loan to value. So it's obviously not the 75% rates we quoted earlier. And 0.45 for regulated bridge. And there's even a product that's a fast track. So you go desktop valuation up to half a million pounds and then get offers straight away within 24 hours. So lots of options. And you can have a look freely, play around with it as much as you want. To speak to us, also, this is only 100 lenders. We've got lots more. So we're not limited by this, what's on the calculator. Uh, so speak to us if, you, if there's anything there, of course, that you could cause you of interest, we might have a better option if you speak to us directly. So, Vincent Birch, typically don't charge a fee. We're in Norwich. That's out of date. We've got about 30 people in Norwich now. So, um, come and give us a shout when you're ready. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Get two of these for me. Thanks, mate. Oh, Smashing. Thanks, Vincent. Um, at this point, I would have, you know, we talked about um, asking questions and sharing and find out, finding out information. If you think you might have a question for a mortgage broker, probably grab Vincent now, because rather than wait another month or maybe not call him after, just grab him now and he will answer the question. So Charlie, I think you did that last, last month, got some advice, and you can move forward. So asking a question just gets you further forward. So ask more questions more quickly, I think is my, my take.